all right guys so we're back with another G auto repair YouTube video today we're working on this uh, 2014 I believe Volkswagen Passat with a P2402 code which is evaporative emission system leak detection pump control circuit high and uh, we're gonna try to get to the bottom of it and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the pump that's gone bad and uh, it's located here in the rear passenger side of, uh, of the vehicle right behind the, the liner and see here so to get to it we have to remove all this mumbo jumbo so I'm pretty sure the pump has gone bad I was doing some quick uh, tests here yesterday and uh, if we move this out of the way we can see that it's right here right here this is the pump. this is our guy right here here's the connector hope you guys can see that let's see oh my god let's see if I can feel anything It's more difficult to remove this stupid thing than anything else. Let me get a flathead screwdriver. Got it. Yay. Yay for me. Alright, so I finally got it. So yeah, what you have to do is with a screwdriver or something, you need to push in on that little tab and then it should fall straight down. This is so stupid. You can't really see. Because all of this is in a corner and you can't, I mean, this is a bad one right here. So, anywho, here's the canister. Again, this goes into this little thing up here. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. But it just slides in there and it cat, this little tab catches there and it just lets it hang. So, yeah. In theory, if I would have pulled down hard enough, it probably would have came down. But uh, I, I'm not in a position to do that. All right, so what we got to do here now is remove this. There we go. And now we got to remove this. And this is clamped on there. So we're going to have to break the clamp. to break this I think it came loose already yeah for the most part okay we'll use the little pocket screwdriver to get in there and 
Okay, and there we go. Now that, that is loose. There we go. Disconnect it. Okay. Now we gotta hopefully there we go. Alright, let's just loosen these three screws here. And then we'll wiggle it out. In reality, that probably doesn't even need anything. This really doesn't hold much pressure. Wow. Okay, we got our new one here now. Oops, wrong way. Like this. Okay. We're gonna get these three screws. These three screws. And of course customers always come when I'm trying to do something. Put these three screws in, and then we're gonna mount this. Let me deal here with the people, and we'll be back for this final touch. Okay, so we're back. Um, all I really did was just put a, a, a cable tie here, really nice and tight. Like I said, there should be no really significant source of pressure here, anyway, so um, I'm not worried about that. These clamps, in my opinion, are overkill. Overkill and makes it more difficult for you to replace things when you have to replace them. So I already put these three uh, uh, little screws there. So that's mounted there secure. And now we're ready to go back in. So reverse operation. We're just going to go ahead and... could do is maybe put a little bit of a silicone paste on these things so you can slide in a little easier but to be honest with you I'm just being lazy right now and I don't feel like getting back <laughs> I'm sure you can understand all right let me see where is this oh, there we go it's up in there I don't know who that is, but they're going to have to wait. Okay. There we go. There we go. And now we put the connector. There we go. Put our two little 10 millimeters back. back and we're almost done and there we go the canister is secure let's verify all the connections everything looks good to me beautiful all right so that's all she wrote that's how you replace that now what I'm gonna do is just confirm everything's working so but I'm gonna do this uh, off the camera I already showed what I wanted to show and that is how to replace this and uh, hopefully you can too so thanks for watching we'll catch you guys on the next video ciao